Hello guys and welcome to a delayed unboxing. Normally I would do this the day after, but it's been two days since this actually came out. But, lucky for you, I hadn't even opened the damn thing. But unfortunately I actually couldn't do anything about it because I was trying to get caught up on my sleep. And doing other things, but that's not really important. Uh, for one, I actually did a, get a package, and it was with Mike Jevons' books. If you don't know who that guy is, he's the guy that does infomercialisms on products of the ones that you normally see on TV, and they usually suck, except for some of them. But yeah, if you hadn't got his books, I highly recommend checking those out. But that's not the main, main unboxing of the day, or main focus. Main focus is this. Psychopaths, Mandatory Madness. This is actually available for Vita and PS4, but I got it for the Vita because that's where I get most of my visual novels. For those of you that do not know what Psychopaths is, Psychopaths was originally a visual novel in Japan. I think we did get it, but it was only on PC. Later on, they made an anime of this same <laughs> the same series. Funimation did a dub, English dub for it, and the first season was really good. The only reason why I know about the first season was because Chaos sent me... Uh, the entire first season last Christmas, I believe, and I actually really liked the series. It's for multiple reasons, it, although the ending kind of was meh. Second season was meh, and the movie I heard was okay to good. But yeah. And then we look at this, which is our version of Psychopaths. And yes. I could tell you right now, I don't remember the characters except for Kogami, Akane, and I think that's Ginaza. And also Ginaza's father. I forgot the other guy's name, but I know the for a fact, the guy who voices him for Funimation actually was convicted of holding child pornography. And then we don't want to talk about that because that's ancient history. Anyways, you don't play as them. You play as these two, male or female. You play as uh, Tukuma Surugi and Nadashiko. Takashi. I know I pronounced the name wrong. I'm sorry. That's what I get for being American. But let's not delay this anymore. Let's just open the box with a box cutter that I get for my work. <laughs> it's sad that I usually get the box cutters for my work. And they always work so well, too. Also, yeah, the, as you know, the, the game is already teen for blood, language, mild violence, such things, and drug reference. But, yeah. Ugh. Let's just rip open the shrink wrap, because shrink wrap sucks. But anyways, yeah, every choice you make. Yeah, I, I like to point out, yeah, every choice you make dictates your fate. Telltale game, kind of. Victims can become criminals, and civil is always watching. Yeah, the whole entire premise is that they follow behind the system that keeps criminals, like keeps people in check, and keeps them from crawling over their their mental state, known as psychopaths. But yeah, you know what that is. Uh, let's just open up the box and pull everything out. Fortunately, everything. I opened this upside down because it came like that. Anyways, the box is not important. I'll just put the box gently up there. Wow, that was th that's anticlimactic. Throw that to the side. First off is the game for the Vita. And luckily it's PlayStation TV compatible. That way if I ever decide to do a let's play of the game, I can actually do so. Which is always good. As you know, Vita game only comes with a cart. Nothing special. The soundtrack required listening. <laughs> always the shot. Kokomi is always the best one. He was actually my favorite character in the in the entire show. But then they completely like basically not used him in the second season. That's because the person that wrote the second season did not write the first one originally. Isn't that a piece of irony? But yeah, let's just open up the soundtrack box. And that's actually kind of cool to see that. And also, Kogami and, and Akane together. I always figured that they would be together in this series. Because I actually did like them as a couple. 
Anyways, let's look at the soundtrack. Let's see how many they have in here. Da, 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 da. 15 something? Oh, yeah. I think it's like 15 songs in this. Which, it's kind of the standard nowadays for soundtracks. I'll move that to the side and also like a cleaning cart, like a clean cloth for your Vita. I would not use this as a clean cloth, truth be told. And they're chasing the cat with their sunglasses. Great. <laughs> and it's actually kind of cute, I'm not going to lie. That's actually a cute little thing. And now uh, there's another thing. It came with art cards. Besides an art book, it came with art cards. That's actually kind of cool to see. Which will immediately go back into the box because I don't want them to get damaged. Unless I get it framed for all three. All th How many it comes with? I think five. Anyways, that's the first one. Which I will say that actually looks incredibly nice of it. And here's the other one. Oh, yeah. Fuck this asshole. I don't like him at all. He's actually the main villain. And then here's the other one. I thought there was more. Oh, I guess not. I think this is actually the other one. But yeah. Here's the last art. And yeah, these things fucking creep me out. I know it's supposed to be their, their disguise for s protection. But it just looks creepy as fuck. That it just reminds me of those robots from Tron Bond and Mega Man Legends. Although I think that's what, I don't know if that's what their intention was, but it's still kind of funny. Anyways, Leslie. Oh, hey. Oh. 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 Awesome. Actually, yeah, he actually has the Psychopaths. And then for your first two episodes is the extended edition. Wow. Don't know how I'm going to do that, but uh, okay. And I hate when Funimation actually does that, how they up, like, they release part one and two of season, and then all of a sudden they're like, hey, you like Psychopaths? Here's the full set. Anyways, let's just open this up. This is actually the art book for Psychopaths. Mandatory happiness. I love how they just call it Heaven's Gate. Oh yeah, this content contains spoilers. Yeah, I figured. Illustration. Okay, let's just... Do they have the character? I might as well just skip ahead to the character. Oh wait, did I just see Chibi Art? I did. <laughs> chibi Art. I actually like the Chibi Art of any anime character. It's actually really awesome. There's the main female character that you might play as. The main male. And I always thought that was a guy, but name's Alpha. Looks like a guy, but has a body of a woman. I don't know why. Kogami and Akane, my favorite characters. And Gino's that was right. Oh, Masaoka, that's his name, Masaoka. But I, I think I spoiled it anyway. Oh, Kagari, that's his name. And also, Kinezuka. I actually like most of these characters. Here's Shion, Kane Nomura, uh, Kaisi. I, and most of these characters, I don't. Oh, yeah. Makashima. Fuck him! And I, since this is all containing spoilers anyway, I might not skip do all these books. I might skip ahead to the backgrounds. Because there's one thing I actually did really like about Psychopaths is that the backgrounds are really, really good. I know it's supposed to be a science fiction, futuristic looking thing, but it still looked impressive to see. Except all of these just have like basic things. But if you want a better interpretation of it, just look up the uh, anime of it. Extra! Oh yeah, cast commentary whenever the people that voiced them had their commentary on the whole thing. But yeah, if you wanted to look at the art book yourself, I just say look it up online. So yeah. Psychopaths, mandatory ma- uh, I was about to say mandatory madness, because some parts of it make you go mad. Uh, is this a good pickup for anyone that actually is a fan of the Vita, PS4, or visual novels? Visual novels, yes. 
Psychopaths fans, yes, but for people wanting to get a game, I would just say get the standard version, but if you like anime in general, probably, probably would be good for you. And yeah, I think I've got this for 70 because of the Prime membership that I got, but it's not all too bad. Although my so big gripe with soundtracks containing more less than 20 songs is kind of a problem, but it's, it's become the norm nowadays. But uh, yeah, this is Psychopaths, Mandatory Happiness. And uh, it's pretty good for why I'm, uh, I'm boxed. So yeah, I would highly recommend getting the game, checking out the anime if you haven't. And this concludes it. Thank you guys for watching this unboxing. My name is Levy I'm trying to keep on someone else. Goodbye for what I do. But most importantly is I will see you in the next unboxing. Sometime during October, probably. So until we meet again, goodbye.